Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and as we talk about the uh, November 2019 update and Windows security, I also wanted to just uh, do a quick tour of the Windows security, make sure that everything is all right. So you should see if you have the Windows security app running, the uh, shield on the bottom right of your computer in the taskbar. If you don't see it, look behind that little up arrow. It might actually be hidden. So you should see this white shield with a little green check mark. Now that green check mark could also be different. It could be red or yellow or indicating something is not right. It doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't work. Now if you don't see it there, you can actually go and click the search on the bottom left and type Windows Security, which will of course bring up the Windows Security app in the search that you can click on and uh, maybe it's not there. If you have had a third party antivirus on your PC, for example, a lot of them disable the Windows Security app. Even after you actually uninstall the antivirus, it happens very often that the Windows Security app is still disabled. So you might want to check that out. So you can click on it and you will be greeted by this Windows Security page. We have security at a glance and the different options that here are happening are virus and threat protection. You want to have that green, of course, uh, it will tell you no action needed. If something is wrong, click on it and follow the instructions. It could be that the uh, uh, data is, is outdated or you know that the definitions aren't updated. Um, so make sure that that is green. You've got account protection, which has uh, kind of adds a, a, a layer of security for the different accounts within your Windows operating system. Firewall and network protection on. Once again, another green check mark that you need to have here. In this case, uh, one little note is that uh, remember that for most of you, there's already a firewall probably within your system, which is in the modem or router that you might be using. But of course, it's good to have the firewall in Windows uh, enabled. App and browser uh, control, green check mark. This has different security uh, features concerning the apps and the control of uh, what you want with the browser. For example, different types of uh, changes you can make for uh, you know parental controls and stuff like that, basically. Device security, views the status and manages hardware security features. We'll take a look closer at all of this in separate videos. A lot of you want me to go through all of that. There's a device performance and health. This one is where you might have a little check mark that's not green or something's wrong. You know, this is always something I never really liked. And it's the fact that you have a health report and sometimes the health report can be wrong because sometimes you wanna have specific needs or securities. For example, on battery, sometimes I like to, you know, I'm outside, I like to have the uh, device uh, display brightness maxed out. I want it to be as high as possible. Well, device performance and health is going to say, well, you know, there's a problem with your uh, health because your battery is going to drain because of, yeah, I know. But every time you have that in device performance and health, you can actually uh, say, you know what, don't don't annoy me with that. And it will stop actually telling you. And fi finally, you have the family options, which uh, lets you manage how the different members of your family will use devices uh, including, you know, uh, the type of content you can see, the type of accounts you want to give them, and so on. So we'll be uh, taking a look a little closer to all of these options in the next videos uh, coming up today and tomorrow. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.